Welcome back. Time now for some 814 Eats. And for that, we have our good friend, Chef Doug Simon from the Lake Mock Casino. Good Thanks for be, being here. Good to be back. Uh, you put me in front of the toaster to hide my pregnancy. Absolutely. Right? Got it. Absolutely. Not good, good, mine. Good, good, good. Not, Not yours. Mine. No. I have no announcements to make just yet, but maybe. Toaster. So, what are we making today? Uh, we are going to make a uh, Black and Swordfish Club sandwich. Uh, I figured during the you know, time when it's Lent, people are always looking for different ways to eat fish. Yes. Um, not a lot of people know swordfish or like swordfish, but I love swordfish, and this is a great way to go. Okay. Um, blackening is one of those things that people always think it's a lot of spice. Yeah. The more you add, the more spicy it is, but it's just really piquant flavors. So typical blackening is done in a uh, cast iron skillet. I'm just using a, a uh, stainless pan here. I've got this great blackening rub here and a little bit of butter or oil, uh, depending upon which you want to use. And then I'll just put a little bit of spray down in here real quick. And you can see that's already pretty hot. Yes. Turn that flame up just a little bit. Because you, you want it hot, you don't want it scorching hot because you'll burn the fish before it actually cooks through. I also feel like some people get nervous about cooking fish because it's a little different than just kind of throwing a steak on a grill. True. True. And if you don't hear enough of that sizzle, then we really want to get that flame up higher. Flame on! This is flame on. Because this is one of those things where that, that heat really helps to form that crust on the outside yeah. of the fish. So... Uh, one piece is actually enough for one sandwich. This is a really nice frozen swordfish that I got just at the market here locally. Awesome. And uh, when I say butterfly, you're basically just cutting right across, so you're getting two small fillets that way. So while that's cooking, we'll let that go there. We're going to make a little bit of a slaw here. Oh, so Central this Pennsylvania is loves our good absolutely. slaw. Absolutely. So this is just a little bit of mayonnaise and some lime juice. I'm going to put a little bit more lime in there as well. And then we'll come back over with a little bit of this uh, Cajun spice Ooh. in here. So that's going to be the mayonnaise that's going to go into the slaw dressing. Put the lime in the mayonnaise. Absolutely. And, stir it all. Um, and this is basically just a shredded slaw mix that you buy at the market. If you like some onion, you can throw some onion in as well. Yeah. And I am an onion fan. I do love onions. I put a little bit of salt and pepper on this already, and I always like to do that. Maybe a little bit of sugar sometimes as well okay. for the slaw. It helps to draw out some of the liquid. Okay. And that liquid actually becomes part of the dressing when I make my slaw regularly, Ooh. so it's not such a thick glob of mayonnaise. Yeah. But you can see that you got nice, you know, nice texture in there, nice color. It's smooth, and that's what you want. And we'll just pour that right in. I always like that you uh, bring something you're like, uh, you can get this at your local market, you can get this at your store, so people at home can uh, see what you're doing and try this at home. Well, I think that's half of what this type of show is about, yeah. is not for me to cook things that you can only get yeah. by me. It's, <laughs> I want to I teach you something that you can do, or exactly. Rebecca can do at home. And while we've been doing this, the fish is really moving in a good direction. You can see, if you look, it's starting to get a little bit of color coming up the sides, Ooh, which means okay. that we are pretty close to flip. Oh, yeah. Flip cam. There you go. So you can also see that you've got that crust starting yeah, to form definitely. there. So that tells me it is time to toast. To toast the bread. Time to toast. This Don't isn't just to hide my pregnancy. Exactly. It does something. Exactly. <laughs> Put a little bit more lime juice in here. Did you ever realize how weird this show is? Every day I come. <laughs> And it's one of my the highlights of my Oh, that's so sweet. Week. That's so sweet. So, I mean, I lie well, too. Yeah, you're also yes. a ve very good, very good All actor. right, so, <laughs> so the color that you're getting in here, a little bit from the carrot, because the lime juice is bleeding some of the color from the carrot. Yeah. You've got the um, spice in here, so that should be really nice. Pardon me, I'm going to taste some. Yeah, go ahead. Chef's got to taste it. you got to make sure it's good. Yeah, it's got yeah. a little bit of everything in there. That's good. So I'm going to put this up here for a second. Okay. We've got some avocado. Ooh. I'm going to slice through this. I bought one yesterday that was as ripe as I could find. It's sometimes difficult to find a good avocado. It is. It you is. You've got to kind of have to have it sit in your uh, you kitchen also, for a little while. That's true. You also feel bad if you're standing in the market squeezing every avocado yes. in, the, in the aisle. So, and and what I do with those you. is I just flatten that down like that. Ooh, That'll be ready that. to go right on the toast when the time comes. I've got my tomatoes already sliced and ready to go here. Look at that. So I'm good. And bada then that bada toast bada is almost ready to come out. While we're doing that, I'm going to run in here and pull out my 
crispy potatoes. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know yeah. that was happening. I know, I know. You didn't even know you had an oven I here. I didn't even know I had an oven here. <laughs> what am so, I, what's going on? All right, and we are pretty much ready to go. So okay. let's get this. Let's get the toast out of going. Here. Ooh, look at that. I know, I know. Get the Sammy going. A little bit of, oh, here's my knife. A little bit of mayonnaise. I like to use low fat mayonnaise. There's really no reason to use that, all that heavy stuff. I've got yeah, high it's cholesterol. Not really a difference. And, you know, if I can, no, no. It's amazing that they can come up with so many great products that are uh, low fat. Just watch out for all the chemicals that go into some of the some of those things. I don't like a lot of mayonnaise, and there's already some in the coleslaw. And we also so learned about leaf juice yesterday. Leaf juice. Yeah, they put that in the cologne. I don't know what that does. That's probably why I don't wear cologne. Yeah. All right, but I do like to roll around the leaves in the fall. Yeah, there you go. You got your All own right. natural. So cologne. we're going to build a base down here with some okay. of this lettuce, and then we're going to put some of these tomatoes Bada right boom. on here. And I bought those really nice vine ripe ones. You can see these here, so they are in great shape. And then try and get them to stay on. All right, I'm getting the 30 second cue here. Okay, 30 so seconds. They put 30 us on seconds. a timer. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Bada Make boom. your sandwich fast. Everything on there? That looks beautiful. Good. Couple toothpicks. 27 seconds. I feel like I'm on <laughs> top chef. You're on chopped right now. We're going to throw a random ingredient at you. All right, random ingredient. Yes. One sandwich. Go grab the relish, One Kevin. One for you. Look at that. One for someone else. Because we're back in the I love Terra chips. These are great com accompaniment. So I'll give one of you guys some Terra chips. And one of you guys. And folks, you can see on the screen right now as he's preparing uh, where you can check him out. The casino at Lake Mont Park. There's their phone number. Check them out for great events. You can get some great tasty food from Chef Doug Simon. Look at that, folks. All right. Thank you, my friend. Tasty dig potato. In. I'm going to dig into the sandwich as we get a check of our 8-1 forecast with the man now at his bigger screen because apparently <laughs> that's a problem with Mike Doyle. Uh, not a problem. Not a problem at all. 